We are on air. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, Clive. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of Bricks Briefs, uh, the special live stream. Uh, we actually had a, a plan for an optimistic uh, video about Bricks, um, but due to the events in Moscow, uh, we've had to shift the focus. Um, we apologize for that, but obviously, it calls for, especially with our expertise, we can offer something to the audience. Um, we did uh, originally intend to have uh, some content for our first live stream, um, but we've gone with this today um, because uh, Anastasia here, she's uh, has some expertise um, and we want to take advantage of that and, and provide that for our audience. So we hope you appreciate that. Um, so the focus of this live stream uh, is going to be a calm analysis of the recent events in Moscow, which are really still happening, um, including the response of Russian institutions and media. Uh, so Anastasia is with us. Welcome, Anastasia. Yes. Welcome, Thank everyone. You. And she's going to assist us in navigating the, the Russian sources uh, for mm, a relatively neutral analysis. And I will try to restrain myself. Yeah, uh, it, we, it's, it's quite mm. difficult to be uh, neutral here because this mm. what happened yesterday, that terroristic attack, as they call, that took yeah. lives of many people of many, many people, innocent, who came to watch their favorite group, to listen to music, and they got this, and th th their life ended yesterday, unfortunately. Yes. Um, well, yeah, th this is a disaster. This is a disaster. Yeah, it, it is a disaster um, and not taking away from the loss of life and and that that's still happening, actually, because people are fighting for their lives in hospital. Yeah. But the relations Maybe. that can happen between countries, which is what we bring to the audience, particularly with BRICS, an optimistic view, um, this is not good for that enterprise, for that idea. So... Yeah, so so we I just wanted to strongly encourage the viewers to ask questions and comment during the live stream. Uh, there's not a lot on there now, but um, even when we're done, please comment and uh, we'll do our best again through Anastasia's particular expertise um, and translating. She can help. Um, so we are actively seeking uh, to discuss the information um, that's of interest to you. Um, so you're seeing some footage. This is very recent footage. Uh, our director is, uh, and producer is putting that up. Yeah, this is that very concert hall, Crocos City Hall, that yesterday happened, that terroristic attack that took life, that took lives of 115 people by now. Over 100 remain in hospital and very, very seriously injured. So you know that there was not only a shooting, but also a fire, very, very serious fire. Yeah, I've been seeing uh, the photos and video I think if anyone's following this, there's there's quite a lot come out because there was quite a lot of people in the mall and they were trying to record what was going on because that helps the authorities too. So, yeah, it's very devastating. Um, let me ask you, Anastasia, um, yeah. can you describe the location of the attack and have you ever been there? Well, uh, Cro Crocus. Crocus City Hall, Crocus Mall, Expo Center, 
this is a very big cluster. This is a huge area. It consists of three parts, a shopping mall, very big one, expo center and uh, music hall, this city, uh, Crocus city hall. So this is the, um, this cluster is located northwest of Moscow. We may say suburbs, but very well uh, connected to Russia, to, to, to Moscow. Mm -hmm. um, th there is a metro station there and around this area, that's a residential area. So right. uh, this, is say... very this is a very popular place. And this music hall or concert hall, how you prefer to call it, uh, it's very it's very famous. A lot of uh, artists, a lot of musicians, groups, singers made their concerts there. Because uh, this is a very big place. Uh, if I remember well, it, it's about 6,000 people may, may be there. 6,000 seats in this concert hall. It's quite and, large. Yeah, and yesterday it was sold out. So all tickets were sold. So it means there were at least 6,000 people inside, plus the staff, the personnel. So a, a lot of people. And as I mm. said, uh, around there, there is a shopping mall. There is a, an expo center, um, gym, restaurants. So this is a very big area. Right. It, when you say city hall, is that in the traditional name? No. City hall, like it's no. Okay. No. That's well, it, it is like a music hall. This is a concert hall. Concert hall. Right. Oh yeah. And that's it. Yeah, it's a city. Yeah, with that uh, sort of dense term. Yep. I see. Okay. And you've been there before? Yes, I've been there once, uh, but many years ago, uh, just, yes. Uh, mm. Honestly, I do not remember well what did I see there, but I remember that this is a very big place. There's a lot of people there. It, it mm. can contain a lot of people. And yesterday it was full. So right. one, that... can, one can only imagine the mess inside. If 6,000 people are waiting for a concert that had to be, that should start in a few minutes and suddenly several people entered with guns and started shooting. Yeah. So... So potentially there was a lot more people actually at this centre because it's also a shopping centre, a mall, uh, and the yeah, concert. But, um, the mall is another part of this building. Oh. They are connected, I, I think. I do not remember well. But this is, uh, except that they're divided. Mm. Okay. So those people who are who doing shopping... Uh, in shopping mall cannot enter this area of uh, concert hall. Right. For events. Yeah. So when, when and how did you learn about the news? Well, honestly, I didn't know until my father called me asking, oh. what's going on? What's going on in Moscow? There is a, uh, there is a, a fire. There is a terroristic attack. Uh, do you, do you know about it? Are you aware of it? But, Honestly, I didn't know, so I had to switch on TV, and mm. then, <laughs> and then, I realized that that was a mess. A lot of pictures, a lot of videos of um, from from the place. The um, journalists outside making videos, commenting something, but. There was not so many information, not so much information in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I, um, a lot of people, yeah. I think, got knowing it about the, the, this terroristic attack from radio or from the messages. I see. Okay. Um... Even, even, in, even if, well, well, yesterday it was Friday. So after work, 
traffic jams. And I, frankly speaking, I was thinking about people who, who was in a traffic jam in nearby area. So they, they saw with their own eyes all the fire, all the people that trying to escape from the building. And around this building, there's a huge parking place, a lot of cars, mm. a lot of vehicles. And there was an information that that might be um, an, explo um, an explosive hidden in some of vehicles parked outside. Oh. So uh, you may imagine the terror the people uh, yesterday, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that potential there that the authorities have to check with so many people around. Yeah. yeah. We just had a question up. Um, was it only young people that died? I mean, can you provide any recent updates regarding the individuals involved? Well, the list of people who died, as I told, it's uh, over 100 people, 100 person, 115. Among them, three children. Mostly, right. mostly it was people, uh, well, of various ages from 20 to 50. Mm. This was a, um, a concert, concert. Of, a, yeah, of a rock music group with a different audience. Mm. Oh, so, okay. So potentially th there's actually a fairly widespread of the, the age yeah, for that rock group. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Cami. Prayers for the Russian people. Yes, it is heartbreaking. Uh, this is, it's in the, in the current environment, it's very. So you, very you see right, right now the video. So someone, mm. someone made this video hiding. Well, this, this one, I don't understand. You are hiding, but making videos. Okay. But thanks to this video, we understand. Uh, mm how was it was inside that this is a very huge place so you see you see people hiding and those are shooting yeah it's so a, a lot of people died not being shot also well at the beginning they were um, talking about 40 dead 40 persons uh, shot but after it was an explosion it was a fire and a huge building and this concert hall is the second floor so you may imagine the first floor there is a shooting the second floor this uh, the concert uh, the concert hall uh, again uh, people um shooting and upstairs there is a fire so pe people uh, didn't know where to run because if you run outside you risk to be shot dead if you hide there is a fire right this yeah that's a crazy situation and now they say after, uh, well, now the fire is over uh, and they say that they found a lot of people dead after a fire. Yeah. Well, have, can you, is there any details about the terrorists? I wouldn't refer to them as terrorists myself, but I'm, I, again, I'm going to restrain myself. Um, I will make some comments, but is it, was there any more details about these so-called terrorists? Well, um, at the beginning, there was no information who it might be. Because mm. uh, those who survived told that they entered with open faces. There is no, uh, they had no balaclava to cover their faces means mm. they were not they was absolutely uh, not afraid of being yeah. um, 
that someone knew them or something like that. So and the the only thing was told that they were they were bared as a Muslim tradition. Mm. So after that, there was a, a stream media, mass media, mainly uh, the internet sources became. Uh, I don't know. Everywhere oh. there was information that. Yeah, that they are Muslims and there, is, there are immigrants, immigrants who came in Russia to kill Russians. So all that stuff, because mm. um, maybe our, our viewers, our listeners from the uh, United States, from, uh, from Europe doesn't know, don't know that here in Moscow we have a lot of immigrants. Because the problem of immigration, it's not only European problem. We have a lot of them from Asia, from um, from any from ex uh, USSR uh, republics, mm. because they, they live their life there not so flourish. So they come here to 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 work, but they bring a lot of uh, criminal elements. Mm. And in the beginning, after after. Uh, there was um, information that people saw some Muslim-looking guys shooting. There was an information that, oh, that's Muslim jihad. Um, so you know what is jihad, the, the battle against Christians. Yes. Uh, th th this is a Muslim jihad. They came here to kill Russians. So I don't know who uh, was the author <laughs> whose idea was to, uh, to to start talking in, in that way, but they tried to joke that so-called Muslim card. Mm, which we don't know for which sure we, yet, obviously. Yes, exactly. That we yeah. don't know. Yeah. And it's I guess it's always sort of immediately goes to that, which I, I think is it's understandable from my point of view. It's understandable, but Again, I'm going to restrain myself, but I am going to say, from what I've seen, this is very. It does uh, normally when I've seen with terrorists, it's very emotional. Very, uh, they are reasonably organised, but they they're not. They didn't do it like as you saw in that video. They're very casual. Uh, Anastasia was saying that they had a flamethrower. Um, yeah. That sort of preparation is not is not terrorists to to the degree of the environment in the context of the environment that we're in now, right? With Russia at war, um, you know that's that's my opinion. I just wanted to say, yeah, I, you know, yeah. I was thinking the same because uh, when we, we we are talking about terroristic attack, we imagine terrorists take hostages and ask something in change so normally it is like that i think if we can say normally this mm. time there were no hostages there were no claims they didn't ask for anything they just came in and started shooting people innocent people people not not armed people this is a murder. Uh, I don't know how to, to name it. Well, if it is terroristic attack, okay, it is terroristic attack. But they are killers, well prepared, well prepared. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it not, does. it's not like it's not like um, one got mad, took a gun, went out, and and started shooting. No. Mm, exactly. Yeah, this is very cold and, yeah. Well, actually, they, just... They knew very well the place. They knew very well the um, the area. They knew, they knew very well how to act. If one see the video, may see also, how do they use uh, a gun? How, how do they shoot? How they are... Um, it's it's like for them it's normal 
It's not like a person first time see, okay, not first time, three times a week goes to shoot uh, bottles outside. No, they are professional killers. Mm. Yeah, that's like what that. I noticed too. Yeah. Let's, uh, the producer said there's, a, there's an arrest. And if you could translate for us, um, we'll just wait till the producer gets that up. Um, because they, they had that arrest and then he's speaking. He, sa he says that um, he came from Turkey where he has been and his documents were over and he had to cross the border. Uh, his name is uh, Shamsuddin Bayhuddin. He, he was born in 1998. What did you do? He is asked, what did you do in Crocus yesterday? Crocus uh, City Mall. What did you do there? yesterday uh, this one uh, replies that he was there to shoot people so why why did you do that i was paid he says how much Half a million million half a million rubles he says so it means fifty thousand dollars, fifty thousand euro. So this is the price. Did you get money? Yes, I, I got half of this sum. The other other half. Where did you take where did you take guns? The guns were provided by the And then uh, the officer asks, uh, how, uh, why did they, how, how they contacted you? And uh, this one was contacted you. Uh, the officer asks, why did they write to you, no one writes by chance to anyone. The officer says they proposed you, so by chance, would you go to kill people? And this one replies that he was contacted, co contacted by, he doesn't know by whom, because he doesn't know names, surnames. When he was listening to a lesson on Telegram, a lesson of a preacher, how is it called? That Muslim prayer, uh, Muslim... Um, yeah, he was listening a lesson. Uh, he was contacted by the assistant of of that preacher. Uh, he does no names. Uh, he was contacted he has been contacted about months ago. That, that unknown person uh, contacted him offering money. Change. 
Они сказали конкретно, кого убивали. The place was given. Which people the kill doesn't matter. Anyone. 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 Stop. Stop. Еще раз фамилия, имя, отчество, год рождения. Well, in other officer asks again his date of birth. So he was born 17th of September 1998. Huh? Thanks, Anastasia. That yeah. was so they, they say they, they got this, this person one off. This was one off four hmm. they got today. They were trying to escape. Yeah, this is another one. Well, you see. He doesn't speak Russian. The, the lady uh, is sitting. Uh, she is an interpreter. He doesn't know the address where he was living. He says uh, that was, he, he was living in a hostel. He knows only one person there. He was introduced to one of one of them about twenty days ago, three weeks ago. What uh, the officer asked, what did they do in Moscow? Uh, he uh, answers that the idea was to buy a car and, and work as a taxi driver. The new people when buying when buying the car. And uh, then he was contacted on Telegram. Telegram. He doesn't know the numbers, the names. The only contact was on Telegram. And he was using his own phone number. Uh, then uh, this guy mentions the name Abdullah, and the officer asks, uh, "When did you know him, this Abdullah?" And, uh, this one replies that about ten days ago. That Abdullah offered a work because uh, this one says that. He's being without work for three weeks. He was looking for a job, so he was proposed. And the, the officer didn't, uh, again asked, who is, who was this Abdullah? And, uh, this guy replied that he doesn't know. He, and now it seems, it seems they show a picture. If he recognizes the person named Abdullah who was in contact with with this one. They, they met only once when buying the car. Well, he doesn't know where and who was the seller of the car. So 
I don't know, uh, oh. these people. So the first one told they were proposed 50,000, uh, well, in, in rubles, uh, 500,000, fi 500, mm. yeah. In, so it means in dollar or in euro, it's about 50, 50,000 dollars. They agree. Um, yeah. In Australian, it's about 50, but in the US, it's about 90 per ruble. So we're talking, it's a lot less than 50,000. Well, anyway, that's... not quibbling, but I'm just saying, yeah. yeah, this is not a lot of money for someone to massacre multiple people at point blank. Um, so you see, all of them are immigrants. Mm. They came to our country. I don't know if if, if they have uh, citizenship. If they are citizens. Mm. Maybe. Who knows? So, yes. so those ones, those ones who, because um, you see that um, a, lot, a lot of people say, a lot of experts, um, military people and uh, uh, poli police, says that of course it's important to get those ones who did this massacre but the most important is to catch those who organized who gave the order to do that yes it, it Be because of well yes the, today they took those ones i don't know who from tajikistan or uh, uzbekistan whoever else, but tomorrow, those ones who organized this massacre could take, I don't know, any people. So it means it's important to find who was standing behind these people, because those are, they are, they are simple, uh, how do you call, employees. Yes. Yeah, definitely being paid. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen of the Russian authorities, they are pretty good with tracking down terrorists. I suspect we're going to find out pretty soon who was running that show. That's just my suspicion. Yeah, yeah. You see, it, it was less than 40, 24 hours that they got those ones. They're mm. trying to escape. They came with a car, with a simple, um, uh, with a simple car. They're trying to escape towards Ukraine. On the highway towards Ukraine, they were uh, stopped by local police uh, on the highway. Well, police uh, asked to stop and uh, they didn't. So uh, the police uh, had to shoot. And oh. uh, yeah. Right. Because they, uh, it was a disobedience to police and the police had to shoot the car. So they, uh, they stopped. And took four, four people. Someone escaped, I think, I guess, because there, there was an information. Th that one, the first guy who was on the knees in the in the beginning, the, mm -hmm. uh, it was written before that police should cut a tree to get him down because he, he was <laughs> trying to escape and, and he climbed the, uh, the pine. I see. The uh, so how have local media outlets in Russia been covering the incident? Uh, are there noticeable noticeable differences in the in the narratives between the various media sources? Well, no, I don't see that because, as I told you at the beginning, there was no so so much information. And uh, like for example, we see right now in the video that a lot of uh, journalists, a lot of uh, media uh, people, they were just standing outside and showing what's going on but what was going on inside no one knew no one knew mm. it hasn't so been the, very long yeah oh uh, well it, in the aftermath of the event which it's still going but in in the actual event have there been any significant public reactions or movements within the community where the incident occurred well, of course, uh, all people were in shock. Hmm. Yes, I should say that 
we know we are uh, we are having special military operation but the russia is very big and we are 130 million people and uh, the majority of population do not see and do not perceive all um, all difficulties that struggle our um, other people that living um, on the border with Ukraine. And yesterday, this terroristic attack in the heart of our country, in the capital, in the capital city, that was a shock because everyone understood that there is no safe place. Mm. You, may, you may not feel safe living in a comfy apartment in the center of Moscow or in the suburbs or in a um, border city. You, you, are, you cannot feel safe anywhere. And yesterday we understood that because it happened in a concert hall, but it might happen everywhere. Yeah. In the cinema, in the supermarket, anywhere. And um, I should say that yesterday there was a, um, uh, how does it say, how to say better. For example, there is a huge uh, a feedback from the community, from the local people, from the who are living in nearby. And um, the picture, the, what I like more, taxi drivers who worked in that area didn't take money for a drive. So they could, um, I don't know, uh, people were, I think yesterday, escaping from that concert hall, people were ready to pay double, uh, triple price for the tax to escape from that place. Just and to get uh, away from it. Yeah. Yes, of course, it's normal. And But they say that taxi drivers didn't take money, just mm. helping people to escape from the place. And um, the biggest uh, taxi aggregator who is working in area uh, made a statement that the people who um, who used the uh, the aggregator ye yesterday in that area in that moment will be repaid back. Nice. Yeah. That's that's at very least, very yeah, comforting. Yeah, at, at least something. And today I saw a lot of pictures uh, and videos of. Um, of people, of normal people that are standing uh, in a line in the ab ambulance to, just to, to give their blood mm. if needed. Even they say that uh, all Moscow uh, hospitals um, doesn't need don't need anything, but people feel that, that they should participate in, in, in a kind of way. So yeah. a lot of people went went to the blood station. I don't know how to, is it called in English, blood station, I guess. Yeah, doning, Just, donating blood, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to donate their blood. Hmm. Because it, seem, it seems, as I told, um, over 100 people still in very seriously injured and they're in hospitals. And who knows how many of them are still under um, the constructions of the building. Yeah, I suspect there's going to be a lot. Uh, someone just made a comment that the official toll was 133 have died. So it's yeah, climbing yeah. quite rapidly, I guess, as people, maybe yeah, people because, are dying in the yeah, hospital. Because now firemen uh, starting to, yeah. to remove. Um, yeah. And they, well. they find they, they find bodies inside. So mm. what a terrible well, death. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's well, let me ask you, because uh, there's a couple of questions which I think you you particularly will be able to give some good context. So in the aftermath of the sorry, can you provide any historical context or similar incidents in the region? that might help international viewers understand the significance of this event. 
Well, I should say that we are in Russia. Maybe it is not correct to 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 tell to tell like that, but we got used to terroristic attacks. It is not the first time, and I'm afraid it will be not the last one. The um, mm. um, I don't know if our listeners, uh, our viewers, remember or maybe not that the first terroristic attack in Russia happened in 1999 when it was a war uh, in the southern part of Russia, uh, that famous uh, war in Chechnya, when terroristic groups, um, they, made, they, they made a lot of terroristic attacks. And the first one was in 99, and five, uh, 99, 2000, 2002, 2004, almost every year, two, three terroristic attacks we had. One of them that got resonant, uh, resonance um, in the world, I think many, many of, of, of us uh, remember that, that was a theater when a terrorist took hostages over mm. 300 people during um, a musical. Um, the name of that musical was Nordost. Then, well, it was in 2004 and it was Moscow. That it was a very, I, I don't know, it was a um, terrible, three terrible days. And then, uh, if I'm not, no, there were about more than 90, 900 hostages and 300 dead, something like that. It was 2004, then, no, wait, 2002, 2002. Okay. Because I, I remember where, I remember I was at school, <laughs> 2002. 2004. Another terroristic attack we had in the in south region of uh, of Russia, when group of terrorists took ho took hostages, school. First of September, uh, every year we have first of se September school year begins, so that group of terrorists took hostages entire school. There were a lot of people. That, I don't know. Um, it's it's still uh, still we we remember that every every year, three over three hundred seventy people hostages, dead. Among them, one hundred eighty children. Wow! So you can imagine that. Yes, I remember something. Similar One, in China around that time. 180 as well. children they killed. Mm. Um, so the ter then there were terroristic attacks in Metro when two uh, ladies, uh, mm, I don't know how to, do they call that in English, uh, Shahid, when they exploded themselves being in a Metro. Oh, Jihad. Jihad is a war against. Oh, this uh, is different. Against, okay. Uh, Shahid, this is this one who uh, who chooses to die to kill more. Oh, okay. That, who who goes to suicide to die more? Yeah. Well, now you see the picture of that school, that the children dead at at school, first September, two thousand four. Yeah, I remember. It, it doesn't seem like it was very long ago, actually, uh, although it yeah, was a few, and, a few and years. In fact, it was almost 20 years ago. Mm. Yes, uh, from all that terrorists, they were killed. Terrorists mm. who took hostages at school, who, who took hostages at uh, the theater, not Dust Musical, they were killed. There were more than 20 terrorists eliminated and, right. and it seems today we face 
another terroristic attack. Indeed. Yeah. Well, let me ask you then, uh, from your perspective, and I'm trying to bring in a, a little bit, even though it's a very significant event and very personal, from your perspective, how might this incident affect the geopolitical dynamics within the BRICS nations, if at all? Frankly speaking, I do not know the <laughs> what to say. Yeah, the BRICS, BRICS nations, of, of course, I, I think this what happened yesterday will have international impact. Mm. I think so too. Te terrorism, it's not national problem. This is mm. international problem. As uh, some of our viewers made a comment that, for example, in Britain, they have a lot of immigrants. They have uh, a lot of everywhere is Islam. Okay, divide and rule. Y yeah, um, I don't know what about BRICS to say. China, India, all of all, all of them, they have own um, issues in the country. But yeah. I'm sure it it will have international impact. How? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I suspect that because there has been recently in the last BRICS brief last week, we saw there was cooperation uh, by, I think it was the Justice Department of a couple of the BRICS nations. I can't remember. Um, and they were cooperating to on, on points of justice. And, so, and they had mentioned particularly terrorism. So... I think these sort of evident uh, uh, incidents will actually strengthen BRICS, in my opinion. They will take this at, in, at a as a point of cooperation. So, um, as a point of cooperation yeah. to to fight against terrorism, mm. I think yes. But those committees exist every in every country. Yeah, hopefully uh, they... there is Interpol. There are a lot of organizations to uh, to combat uh, terrorism, but that seems. Yeah, we we see we are still living in the period of time when terroristic attacks may happen everywhere. Yeah, it, unfortunately, it happened, it happened in China. It happened in London. It happened in in the United States. It happened yesterday here. Mm. Yeah, we've seen what happened uh, with China, uh, and then we had the the Uyghur their response to the Uyghur population, uh, which is the mo Muslim. I think it's a type of Muslim population. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. Um, and they had a very large re-education program, of which the West attacked China uh, about that re-education program which is extremely successful. It bring uh, that population out of uh, poverty and the problems of that allowed it to be used as terrorists against their local populations, against their own population in their own communities. So, yes, definitely. Look, we've been going for a while and we, we do – let's let's close off. Um, let's just say thank you to everyone. For, for coming on the, the special edition. Well, thank you. And thank you. Let's uh, thank uh, everyone who listened to us. Yeah, thank okay. you very much. Um, and we hope okay. that we've helped you understand a little bit. We, we did want to show more. You know, maybe we'll do another one soon um, because I, I do apologize. I'm not an expert at this. Anastasia is not an expert at this. We we do our best. Well, uh, if we can, if we may answer some questions, maybe, for example. Yes, if there are. Uh, yes. Do they know what country was weapons? The weapons came from. Mm. Here is the question. Uh, do we have a video? I am asking. Do we have a video of that weapons that were found? If I'm not mistaken, there were 
Kalashnikov. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, that was a little bit and earlier then, on. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a bit early for that. We could speculate, but right. now, yeah, now we have a video of. Uh, hmm. If we have some experts here to recognize the the type <laughs> of the gun, this one, hmm. one of that was found on the place. So that's a modern Kalashnikov, hmm. not a traditional. Well, and uh, some experts say that it, it is more than you say, that it was old. Some oh. experts uh, recognize that it was old because how it was shooting. There was spark, sparks. Oh, okay. Right. Something like that. Or maybe it was, it, it was kept in an, in an, an appropriate way. Uh, or it is quite old. So we see. Interesting. We see how many, you know, you see how many uh, bullets. Yes, a lot. That's a that's an unusual question. Um, oh, we will keep you informed. Absolutely, GNH. We will do our best, but you know we, we are trying to bring an optimistic message um, in in the so in the context you, you of bricks. You see how many people are dead, so we cannot show that. Uh, oh, this is an armory. So they got in very prepared. Mm -hmm. So, okay. other questions we have here? No? I think that was, I think that was pretty much the question. There was a lot of comments and a lot of interaction. I, we really appreciate it. Like I say, we're, we're not experts and we, we're really trying to do the best. You know, my background's sticking out, um, you know. It's, it's funny how Victoria Nuland yeah. mentioned surprise for Russia and then this happened. Jay, just like Nord Stream. So we see one of our viewers mm. knows. Yes. All right. Well, that's that's it for this live stream special edition. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. We really appreciate it. And uh, okay. if you could share, uh, subscribe. Um, we just want to express that our solidarity with the victims and their families. Um, yeah. There's really not much we can say to help with such an awful incident, incident uh, yeah. especially in the context of what is happening. Um, but we are trying to be optimistic here at, uh, at Think Bricks, and um, we're lucky enough to have someone, Anastasia, who can, who can bring more information and answer your questions. And if it's something that you want more, then let us know. You know, yeah, the comment. Let us know, drop a comment, and we, we will try to find something else that that is interesting for you yeah all right that's it for now thank you very much thank you very much ciao Bye. from think bricks